Hello everyone. Today we will learn about how to use Streamomatic to remove the low quality bases as well as to trim the adapter sequences. So right now let's go to the Streamomatic website. On the website it says that quality trimming of reads is not necessarily one size fits for all. For certain experiments such as for DNA assembly, quality trimming is a critical step. This is the command we need to use to trim paired end reads. As an input, we need to provide the forward reads as well as reverse reads. As an output, there will be four output files, two files per input files. For the forward read, there will be two output files. One will contain the paired reads and other will contain the unpaired reads. So there will be total four output files. And the Illumina clip command is to remove the adapter sequences. And also we need to provide the FASTA file for the adapter sequence. In this case, this is an example of TrueSec paired in FASTA file. And those parameters are used in Trimomatic to determine how Trimomatic will match the adapter sequence to the input library reads. And leading three means bases at the beginning of the read will be removed if the quality is below three. Trailing means bases at the end of a read will be removed if it is below this cutoff. And minimum length 36, that means after quality trimming, if the length of a read is below 36, those reads will be discarded. There is another example for a less sensitive adapter removal. Also, there is an example how to trim single end libraries. Uh, this is very simple. We need to provide the input first queue file and there will be an output first queue file after trimming. Also, we can specify the encoding method. Here it is FRED33. We can also specify if it is FRED64. If you do not understand what is the FRED quality score, what is the difference between FRED33 or FRED64? I have made a separate video on FRED quality score. Please watch this video to understand the encoding methods and the differences between FRED33 and 64. On the GitHub page, Trimometic has provided some adapter sequences. Let's take a look at the paired end TrueSeq adapter sequences. So these are the sequences for TrueSeq3 paired end libraries. So we will be using this file as an input in our example. Let's learn more about the adapter sequences from Trimomatic documentation. It is saying that those sequences are copyrighted by Illumina and TrueSec3 as used by HiSeq and MySeq. Uh, we will show some examples of MySeq today. So we will be using TrueSec3 uh, paired end sequences. And also it is important to note that those sequences have not been extensively tested. And depending on the specific issues which may occur in the library preparation, other sequences may work better for a given data set. So I will highly recommend you to contact to the sequencing lab to know about the adapter sequences. If you use different adapters, you can make your custom FASTA file to use in Trimomatic. Now let's install Trimomatic into our working environment. We will copy this command. Yes. Trimomatic has been installed successfully. For today's tutorial, I have downloaded one Illumina's MySeq library from SRA database. And today we will be using default command of Trimomatic. This is a paired in library. So we have added PE and added the forward and reverse first queue files. There will be four output first queue files. And I have added the word trimmed in the output files so that I can easily identify the files that have been trimmed. Also for adapter removal, we have used the default command 
and we will be using TrueSec 3 PE paired end adapter sequences. For leading and trailing, uh, Q score is 3. Here, I will elaborate how to choose an optimal uh, Q score value for your experiment. In Trimomatic, the Q score or freight quality score is 3. By default, that means there is a 50% chance the bases have been incorrectly identified. So if we want to get the bases that have lower probability of incorrect base call, we can increase those number. We can choose uh, different numbers from the list. It could be 10, 20, or any other numbers. So with the increase of number, we will get the bases that have lower probability of incorrect base calls. So depending on our needs, we can choose different Q score values. To run Trimomatic, we have already downloaded the TrueSec paired end adapter sequences. Let's take a look. These are the adapter sequences. So now we will copy and paste the Trimomatic command. Press enter. Yes, that was very quick and the Trimomatic run was successful. Let's take a look into the outputs. It has created four trimmed output FastQ files. Now we will compare FastQ files before and after trimming. For that, we will use FastQC. FastQC star and this will generate output for all the FastQ files in this directory. Let's take a look into those files. Now we will compare the first queue reports before and after quality trimming. On the left side, I am showing the report before quality trimming and on the right side, it is after quality trimming. We can see some differences in the basic statistics. For example, total sequences, the number of total sequences have been reduced after trimming. That means some reads have been discarded after trimming. Also, the sequence length has been changed in the raw file, it is 251 base pairs for all the reads. And in the trimmed file, the reads have a minimum of 99 and maximum of 251 base pairs of length. That means after quality trimming, the low quality bases have been removed from the reads and therefore we are getting the reads of variable length. Between the raw and trimmed fast queue files, we may have find other differences. So I will highly recommend you to look into these reports to compare these two libraries, whether the trimming has made any other differences or not. To summarize, in this video, we have learned how to install Trimomatic and how to use its default command to analyze or to trim the low quality bases as well as adapters. And also we have compared uh, the libraries before and after quality trimming. I believe you have enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.